All right, what's up everyone? As you can see, we've got three things that are need to go out. It's an all-time record here. Um, we've never had more than one sale in a day, um, so it's pretty exciting. We got a Mickey Mouse Varsity Jacket, a Miles Morales Spider-Man issue number one at a 9.8, and Noctera issue number seven. Three things to go out. Great start to the day. Now let's keep the ball rolling. All right, we are hitting the Plato's Closet once again. Last time we were here, I found a bunch of Travis Matthews golf shirts. One of them already sold almost instantly, so let's test our luck once again and see what we can find. Let's go. Plato's Closet is probably the best place to get shoes in my experience. I like these ones, but they wanted 35 for it, and they wanted a lot for these ones as well, and they just don't have a high sell-through rate, and they weren't selling for much, and the same goes for these shoes right here. But overall, I found some pretty banging shoes at Plato's Closet. I always try and keep my eye out for Carhartt shirts, especially if it has the tags on it. They sell pretty well, and everyone loves Carhartt, and it has a high sell-through rate. This one right here is on my eBay page. It's a Nike Golf Windbreaker. I believe it's a size large, but this is a really nice piece that I found. And I had to snag this Gambit shirt that I'm probably gonna be selling at the Comic Expo I'm attending next month. Awesome find right there. And since my brother is a huge skateboarder, he's in with so many uh, skaters at the skate park and has so many skateboard friends. Um, it kind of helps when it comes to selling clothes like this, the skateboarder shirts, the Vans, the Huff, you know, things like that. Comes in handy when you have a brother that is really into skateboarding. I also came across this Rated R Superstar awesome find right there. Whenever I go out, I'm always looking for clothes to resell, obviously, but when I come across stuff like this, it's hard to sell them because I just would like to add stuff like this into my clothing collection, but I gotta do what's best for my business and keep my business running. Treat me like white teeth. Oh my god, the Pope is dead. You know, I tend to pass on stuff like that, like the Stranger Things, obviously the vodka shirt, which really isn't anything. I was thinking about getting this flash shirt, but I decided to pass on it. And I tried this one on, but it was too small. I thought about using it for jujitsu, but ended up passing on that one as well. And like I mentioned, Huff, the skateboard brand, and I found two awesome shirts right there for a great price. I guess they knew I was here. I'm the illest, because I'm sick with it. Man, what are you doing? Looking for evil doers of vengeance. <laughs> All right, so we just came out of Goodwill. We got a ton of stuff. We got two Huff shirts. Uh, they sell really well on their own site, so they're pretty expensive shirts, and we got them for very cheap here. We got a very old school, like Adidas uh, bomber jacket, which was very nice. I really like that. And then we found a brand new, like Batman robe with the tag still on it um, for six dollars. So you can't beat that. And then we found a couple other shirts that we had to grab. So overall, it turned out to be pretty solid. And pretty solid it was. I decided that I was going to go and take my permit test. I'd put it off for so long. I went out, got my permit. I got a perfect score on it. And now I can go around, drive anywhere. And I got some practice in with my dad. And I even got a clip of my driving right here. And then after that, we decided to hit up a Goodwill in a Plato's closet where I found two absolute bangers. The first one being this Kobe Bryant USA Basketball Olympic shirt. This thing is insane. I picked this up for $8 and it's selling for over $200. I've only found one other one that was way dirtier than this one. This one I can clean up very easily. It's just got some yellow discoloration right around the collar area, but that should be definitely easy to clean up. So that one was a very awesome find. The first shirt that I found when I walked in there, pretty crazy. And the last and the next one that I got was this 
Supreme hoodie. This is my first thing of Supreme that I've ever came across and I had to grab it. Um, you know, I've been thinking about it, like, should I sell this one? Should I keep it? And I think I'm gonna end up keeping it. It's just, you know, kind of like an iconic thing that I found um, for my personal collection. Never came across a Supreme, like I said. So that was very cool to come across and only $12 for that one. Oh, and yeah, I'm selling my comic collection. All right, you're now in my room. We got a Batman painting on the wall. My dad hand drew that when I was very little. We got Leo over here from the Ninja Turtles. We got Mikey over here, and we got Raphael right there. We don't have Donatello. We got Spawn Toys up there, whole rack of Spawn Toys, and we even got long boxes right here that I'm selling um, all of these. I gotta still go through these. We got boxes in here. We got boxes in my closet, and I even got a cat. And I even got comics over here. I got a long box right here. I got a box of comics right here with comics on top of it. I got comics on the table. I got a short box right there. And I got a box right here. I'm just trying to be more strategic when it comes to my comic buying. I'm not trying to buy every comic um, that comes out on a new comic book day. Just trying to be more strategic. Trying to go after that first Miles, that first Wolverine. You know, going after the bigger books. Not spending $30 every single week on books that I read and then put on in a box that I never read again. All right, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you're going to Terrificum, leave it down below. Are you going? I'm going on Saturday, so I hope I can see you all there. Leave it in the comments below. What did you think of this video? Did you enjoy it? Thank you all for watching. Smash that like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me. I exist to write my own story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory. Yeah.